So, this is why you wanted to meet here. Almost bailed you took so long. Give me a hand, it's stuck. <sighs> Time capsule seen better days. You remember the combination? Yeah, it's, uh... Oh, man, it's, uh... You kidding me? Y'all gotta start remembering this code. Not always gonna be around to tell you. We'll remember, we'll remember. We'll remember, yeah, yeah, good. Now, uh, what are you gonna put inside this bad boy? Secret time capsule. Only Miles and I know. Boom, that's right. Keep it secret, keep it safe. Hey, Rick, you gonna take that job at Roxxon or what? <laughs> Why? You gonna take it if I don't? Maybe. Waiting to see the offer. Okay, competition, eh? Well, they're talking a good game. Want me to, uh, <clears throat> lead their clean energy group. You know me. Clean, clean power, power save, save the, the world! world. <laughs> I love my nerdy fan club. Oh, speak of the devil. Rock's on. Back in a sec. You remember the code, right? Um... The Fibonacci sequence. Nice. A reward. I mean, our energy converter was pretty fire. Truth. You think it's still on display at the Science Center? Hope so. Wow. <laughs> Look at us. Goober Central. <laughs> Rig looking suave as ever, though. Yeah. Something going on with him? You guys fight or something? No. No fight. Finn. It's fine. Why do we really lose touch? Crap, now I'm late. I gotta go. Hey, I feel like we both have stuff we're not sharing. Next time we hang, no secrets. Okay? Yeah. Mm, maybe. If you're on time. See you soon, short stuff. You know I'm taller than you now, right? Not in here. <sighs> Middle school graduation was bittersweet. Finn went to Midtown High, but I got into Brooklyn Visions. Said we stay in touch, but man, high school's like a whole new world. Man, it was so good to see Finn. I should find the other time capsules we hid, but a little later. Time capsules under that holiday train thing. Gotta move it out the way. All right. Man, we flew down the street after we tricked out these skates with compressed air boosters. Neighbors started calling us the little geniuses after that. All that attention felt kind of weird and kind of cool. I think it's in that chimney. The day we hit it, wind was crazy strong. Nearly blew me off the building. Nailed it. Finn upgraded her swim goggles with sonar and a heads-up display. She never could stand losing to anyone, especially me. Fountain loaded. Voila. Finn loved these scratch art pads. Said it reminded her that no matter what something looked like on the surface, there was always more going on underneath. Time capsules should be out on those pylons. Finn was fearless hopping off those back in the day. Gotcha. We gave copies of our keys to each other so we could hang out more. Ended up just hiding messages in each other's rooms. The high line wasn't this nice when we hit a capsule in the wall here. Man, time flies. Nice. Concert tickets. Finn convinced me to go with her. I went ready to hate it and wound up buying three CDs and a t shirt Dazzler and Lila Cheney for life. There we go. One summer, we got way into space travel and started freeze drying our favorite foods bacon, egg, and cheese bagel. Total fail. Red bean ice cream? 
was not bad, though. This was our Everest back in the day. We were so pumped when we finally made it to the top. Awesome. We always wonder what stuff like Thor's hammer was made of and invented our own imaginary elements to explain it. Finn's names always sounded the best. I'll have to sneak around those workers to grab that capsule. Bury the pipes this week, dig them up next week. Friggin' city planners never make up their minds. A ghost! I told you this site was haunted! Got it! Ha! <laughs> Parts from the first PC we built. I used it for gaming. Finn used it to help an ESU Alzheimer's research team. Both good uses, I'd say. Used to spend all summer skating here. Should come back more often. Bingo! After we won that science enterprise, Finn got way into space exploration. Dreamed up this moon transport. She wanted to reinvent the whole world. The boat capsule! Used to be a dump, but I'm glad they cleaned it up a little. Found you. After seeing it in the Olympics, Finn got crazy good at table tennis in like a week. Her spin game was unreal. Could put the ball wherever she wanted. Girl is agile as heck. Finn loved coming here. Said it was a good place to think. Piece of cake. Got the tour Oscorp in eighth grade. Finn was way skeptical. Said that they were gonna destroy New York one day. Devil's breath almost proved her right. Jackpot. Oh, football league. I mentioned to Finn one time I was into soccer, and she went all impossible mission to steal this from an exhibition match for me. She'd do anything for her friends. Capsules in that tree planter. He used to sneak up here to stargaze. Never saw one until the 2016 blackout. Then, wow, sky was full of them. Found it. Finn was always checking out books before she finished her last ones. She even grabbed mine when I wasn't looking. Said it kept her brain sharp. Time capsule's in between the train cars. I can't believe we managed to hide it without getting caught. Easy. Got this on a field trip to a Wakandan Design Group Expo. Finn saw all the tech on display and shouted, I want to be an engineer. <laughs> Guess it's stuck. I got so freaked out when we get a time capsule in this cave. The place still gives me the creeps. Great. Mom made this piquet hot sauce for Finn's birthday. Abuela's recipe, I think. Finn put it on everything. Always said, if it doesn't hurt, you're not doing it right. Hey, man. I don't think I ever told you about the time capsules me and Finn hit around the city. Anyway, I just found them all. It really threw me for a loop. Oh. Were they foreshadowing your present situation? No, it just... reminded me how simple we thought the world was. Ah. I was jealous of how planned out she had her life. First, she'd solve global warming. Then, world hunger. Next was curing cancer. And before she retired, communicate with aliens. I don't think any plan you had would have included you getting nipped by a genetically engineered spider. Yeah. I guess things are different now for the both of us.